Hey folks, let's talk about imposter syndrome. I believe everyone from us sooner or later how to deal with it. I just finished my morning learning session in Swift UI and I have no doubt that I am total noob in Swift UI, but sometimes it's really hard to recognize when you are just imposter in some specific domain or knowledge and when you really don't know that good enough. Now I am going for a run, then I will pick some packages and we can continue to talk on topics that will be, for me at least, a little bit more interesting than just sit in front of the camera and talk <laughs> all the way. Ok, let's go for a run. So who are imposters? Imposters suffer from chronic self-doubt. They always doubting are they good enough for something and they feel always intellectual fraudulence and that totally overrides any feeling of success. Also, I am fake runner. <laughs> Almost died running 5k after a few months of doing nothing. So my package is delivered, I have to pick it and I believe that those are tools for coffee making. Let's check that. It's very easy to compare ourselves with other people, especially currently when everything is online, Instagram, YouTube, <laughs> whatever. And usually we are looking up to someone who is great in domain, which we are trying to learn. And then we are becoming self-doped and we are not sure anymore are we ready to apply for those jobs. How can we do that if we learn at the development, I don't know, from few courses on Udemy and online and we are comparing ourselves with developers online, someone from Google for example or Apple and so on, yeah. Are we ready to apply for jobs or not? Maybe better to take few more Udemy courses and learn something else and so on and so on and that is never ending story. So yeah, check out the video about tutorial trap. That could help as well. So, I will open this box. I'm very curious to see if that is my coffee stuff here inside. I definitely need better unboxing knife. But this works as well. Yes. French press. Thermometer. Do not remember what is that. Yes, and this one. How can we know if we are ready to apply for those jobs if we don't have computer degrees, for example, didn't learn databases and all those algorithm stuff, just learned programming from Udemy courses? Hard to answer questions, right? I, <laughs> I'm not surprised that um, so many of us are not sure about that and are self-doubt and feel imposters and so on. So basically I'm the same. I learned uh, iOS development from YouTube and online tutorials. Yes, I have computer science degree, but my computer science degree is quite old. I finished university in 2007 and I learned very little of computer, practical computer hmm, things. Let's say programming, I barely learned programming. So basically I learned everything online as well, like most of self-taught developers. My apps are far away from perfect and I already deleted most of them from the App Store and very first of freelance projects also was kind of uh, horrible. <laughs> I'm not proud to show those anymore, let's say so. They are not listed in my portfolio somewhere or something like that. Because of course that was uh, three, uh, more than two, three years ago and <laughs> of course everyone is growing during that time. But how can I apply to the same jobs where guys with real computer science degrees apply and with experience in bigger companies? I'm total fraud, right? <laughs> of course I am, uh, if I am looking from this perspective. I am even more fraud in programming than in running, <laughs> right? But somehow I got to bigger projects, somehow I, I am working on the apps with millions of the users and uh, no, that's not a joke really. There are millions of the users in the applications that I am developing and those are kind of serious projects. So, so, so 
how can we can get from <laughs> feeling, being proud and so on to get normal jobs and so on? Answer is kind of easy. Do not compare yourself with others. Compare you with uh, your past self. But I really, I, I understand how hard is this to do because the computer science field is huge. It's, it's enormously huge and you never will know everything and it's really hard to understand when you're ready, when are you not ready and so on and in what level you are. So, I will, I'm, I will try to use this coffee making tools to explain my point. Yes, this is coffee grinder. Made in Japan. Okay, good to know. Let me explain on coffee example. I ordered a few things and will try to use them now. <laughs> and I'm fake coffee maker as well. Total imposter, total fake, I don't know. Let's see how it will go. Back in office work I was drinking office coffee from some coffee machine and it was feeling okay. As soon as I dropped my 8 to 5 job to start freelancing, I started to brew my own coffee and no, I become into snob who barely can drink uh, coffee from average coffee machines. Is my coffee perfect or good? Hmm, hard to say. If I compare my coffee making skills with people who are drinking instant coffee, I could imagine that my coffee making skills are outstanding. Comparing with professional barista, my coffee making skills are not so far away from the instant coffee maker. So again, back to imposter and doubts about coffee making skills, if I care about that of course. <laughs> So, I could take a look on my progress in the last few years, moving from capsule coffee machine and French press to Chemex, Aero press, mocha pot for coffee brewing and my attempts to make a cappuccino. So, there is no place for doubts, just clear facts. Is this coffee good? Well, I like it. My wife and my friends like it as well. I see that comparing with past me I know much more about coffee and most likely I could apply to a job as some kind of junior barista and learn all the rest on the go. So far away from perfect but not bad. With programming it is about the same like with coffee. Do not compare yourself with top-level developers and do not compare yourself with beginners as well. Compare with yourself five months ago, year ago and so on and yeah, and uh, if you see progress everything is still fine. I have two news for you, <laughs> one good, one not so much maybe, so everyone is imposter. Those guys who are in, on top level, they also have this feeling and they feel about the same. They have new projects and they don't know what they will do, how, we will sol how they will solve those problems and so on. And I also, I have that feeling as well. Quite often we are running into problems that you didn't solve it before and you have to just open Stack Overflow, <laughs> Google and so on, search for error messages and look for solutions. That is kind of <laughs> two news in one. Good news that you are not only one who feels this uh, feeling. Uh, bad news, if you decided to become programmer, probably <laughs> you always will hit uh, this wall and run into the problems that you don't know how to solve. But good news for you, that is no reason to feel imposter. Basically that is our day-to-day -day work, uh, search for solutions for the problems and solve them. And if you are able to find solution, whatever, how, Google Stack Overflow documentation, that is part of your job. Just search for solutions, solve those and deliver products. That's it, so simple. And my message is, you are not only one who feels that and the IT industry, that field is very wide and there are a lot of technologies and that is basically impossible to learn everything. And you will never will be 100% ready for some specific job. If you are ready for some specific job for 100%, that usually that is something low level and you should look 
to something more challenging to have space for growth. So do not afraid to apply to jobs for which you are thinking that you are not ready. If you know how to solve half of the pro project and half of the problem that you already see, so you are good fit for that project and you will sort out how to solve the rest. Happy coding! <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.